Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Finally, the weather has picked up in the UK and we're able to enjoy a little bit of outside time. It feels good to get out of that cabin fever of being stuck inside the house. Because I've been taking some time out, I've been taking some time to decide where I want to go and what I want to be doing with the channel, my life, what I want to be doing, what my focuses are going to be. And I've had a couple of really cool ideas. I've seen and spoken to a couple of really cool people that I'm going to start working with. In terms of getting back to some informative content, in terms of getting back to those go-to style videos where you can come for information, you can return to it to get that information drilled back into your head whenever you need it. So yes, the vlogs are still going to be here, the fun's still going to be here, but also I want to get back to just that kind of, that more educational, that more informative and that more punchy style. So with that said, this video is supported alongside Squarespace, which is a web developer I'm now working alongside because I'm going to be creating a new media a hub where you can find everything that I'm doing all in one place that will be linked to all the different channels. Now, we've seen in a couple of recent weeks that Instagram and YouTube, they're kind of fucketeering around with it. These platforms are great for content creation and they help us get information out to you when it's allowed to do it organically. But we're going to have to accept the fact that these platforms the creators and everything on it is going to be secondary to the money that can be made on the platforms by the people that own them. That's just the way it is. So I wanted to create like a little central universe, a little hub where I can put all my information that I'm getting out to you guys in one space where it will then link you straight through to each platform, straight to the relevant video, straight for the relevant point that you're looking for. Every day we get the same messages. Every influencer gets those same messages. How do you promote yourself? How do you get things going? And this video is about investing in yourself. And I have decided to take a leap of faith. I'm taking risks and I'm taking it for me, yes, but I'm also taking a big financial risk for you guys. I started this channel, I started YouTube, I started this whole social thing out of love. When I started on YouTube, you couldn't be monetized, you couldn't really earn money from doing it. Because that's what I wanted to do, I wanted to get back to that original feel. And I don't want to have to chase trends either, because I think that, that messes with the creativity, because it takes away from you doing the shit that you love, and that's what's really important. You have to enjoy what you're doing, and that's what this is about. We were training for the love of training, we were videoing for the love of videoing, just to get content out there for you guys to share, just to share the wealth, to share the knowledge, to share the love. And that's what I'm going to be doing again, and I'm investing in myself. The ones I used to do, remember those simple truths? We're going to get back to doing some of those, and back to some cool ass information. The first of those videos that you're going to see after this is going to be how I've switched from a high carb diet with moderate fats to a low carb, high fat diet. And I'm going to tell you why I've done that, I'm going to show you how I've done it, and I'll have done it around about maybe seven to 10 days by the time I get that video filmed and up to you guys. So I'll have a good idea of how it's affected my energy levels, my uh, performances in the gym, and how I've adapted it to home life and whether it's actually better than possibly the higher carb one that was been on before, which I've been on for, ooh, I'd say about eight years now without having to go full keto. But we'll get to that in the next video after this one. Also in that video will be some updates on what's going on because we now have a set Tough Mudder date. We're gonna be running that race and you guys can come and run it literally alongside me and we're gonna raise some money for charity and we're gonna create a hell of a positive vibe. So from you guys who are running it with me, you're gonna get some special little bits of kit that may be custom made by Gymshark for the day, special little things. We're gonna have a setup area that's designated and all done by Tough Mudder and the whole thing will be filmed so you'll all get to feature in the content that is hopefully also gonna raise a buttload of positivity and money Plus there'll be updates are coming on of what's happening with the desire line, the jeans and the t-shirts and everything. Don't worry, it's not stopped. We're just implementing an entire new shipping system and it's taking time to get that set up. But it will mean better, more productive shipping. So let's get back to where I'm investing my money. I'm investing around about $10,000 and I'm gonna show you exactly in what. So let's jump into the new kit that I have purchased. This is the things that I'm going to invest in that are quick to use, create good imagery, easy to travel. The less space things take, the better. If you're wondering what I'm filming on currently, I'm using an 80D. This is the Canon. The reason I like the Canon is it has the flip back screen on it, so when you're vlogging, you can see what you're doing. They create a really vibrant, colorful, warm profile, so it's quite positive. Whereas things like your Sony's will pull more on those like green and blues. It's all about what you kind of want your images to look like. What's easiest for you to use? What do you work best with? I like to be able to see what I'm doing. So a flip screen on the back of the camera for me was, was a kind of a must and that took out the things like the A7S from Sony, especially because of their lack of good autofocus. The autofocus was so bad sometimes you can end up recording an entire chat to yourself that you're focusing on a car 20 feet back, which is what happened to my RX100 all the time that I used to use it from a compact camera until Griff chewed it. Hi. Oh, ah. 
it though. <laughs> oh my god, well. Has he eaten it? Yes. Oh no! Thanks, Griff. It is a new G5 3 axis handheld gimbal, £180, which for a gimbal of this quality is really impressive. The thing you need to notice is the G5 now comes with a little sticker here, which as you can see says now suitable for the Hero 6 integration. What makes this one so good is one, the value for money, but two, the features that it packs with it. This is one of only two that I'm aware of that is technically called splash proof, but basically means it's kind of waterproof. You can take it out in the rain, you can get it wet, and it's not going to break. It has up to eight hours battery life from a single charge. So let's open up this bad boy. Why do they make these sleeves so tight? You need the fingers of a pixie elf to get into them. Fiutech. I think that's how you say it, not entirely sure. Opening up the box, first impressions, impressive. So what we have is, it appears to be the gimbal in its own case. Above that we have the battery pack and then a counterweight for balance, instruction manual and the warranty card. So really impressive right out the back. It seems to come with its own, what feels like almost wetsuit material. A little ring pull on there, although well, I don't see a lanyard for that. Hmm. Opening up the pouch. Da, da, da. So, when switched on, the GoPro sits behind this little holder here, and here's your counterbalance. This little addition helps counterbalance that new weight load for the new GoPro. You unscrew this edge here, slide the counterbalance over the thread, and then simply screw back on. You can buy different mounts to these that will allow you to mount things like mobile phones or different series of adventure cameras, I think you want to call them, but you would need to do your research to make sure that you got the right bits for the right bit of kit. Simply unscrewing the base at the bottom. This is where the battery is housed. The battery is a substantial size, almost the same size as the upper body of the gimbal. That simply slides in. Screw that nice and tight. So here you'll be holding it. The joystick is controllable left, right, up and down, which will then manually move that gimbal in the direction you want to see it. Here's the modes button. Press this a certain amount of times. It goes to certain modes for certain styles of filming. This little button here basically turns the camera 180 degrees. So that means should you be filming, you want to flip the camera around to be able to vlog, you hit that button, it spins it 180 degrees, points the camera back at your face, you let it go, and it goes back to its original point of view, attraction. Well, anyway, it goes back to where it was. I bought this specifically for use with this GoPro Hero 6 Black. This comes in at around about 300 pounds, but I'm pretty sure if you found some discount codes, first time purchases and things like that, I reckon you probably get it somewhere between 250 and 300. Seems like a lot of money for a little camera like this. This is now a really serious piece of kit. Not only now do these have a rear screen to be able to view exactly what you're seeing, it's touch screen, it's all integrated menus and systems that are very easy to use at a single touch, it films in neutral tones, which means that you can do some serious post-edit grading. It means that you can literally put this side by side with footage filmed on a full-frame camera and grade it so that you wouldn't even know. It films in genuine 4K. It also films in 2.7K. So it's a really nice medium that you can get, which allows you to get some good detailing or to be able to zoom in, zoom out. It also can fit in your pocket, maybe even your mouth. So you're gonna have to buy some accessories if you want to use this camera for its full purpose. But the step up in this is it is now fully waterproof. You do not need waterproof housing. You can drop this, dunk it, and it is all set and ready to rock and roll. Now there's no way of getting around the fact that this is going to cost you around 250 300 pounds but accessory wise is where you can start saving a little bit of money i invested in this a simple amazon purchase now if you buy gopro mounts from gopro themselves they're going to charge a premium so this is where other companies have come in and started creating oem style products for the gopro and one of the best value for money is one of these kind of adventure packs where you get everything from floaty devices crocodile clip mounts extendable Bendy arm mounts, head mounts, chest mounts, wrist mounts, 3M adhesives, bendy and straight mounts for putting things on different surface types, handle mounts, and a couple of arm joints there. Now correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure GoPro don't even make this, but it is so simple. Instead of having to deal with all those ugly ass mechanic style 
frames, you can use this ball head to simply twist, rotate, bend, wherever you want to put the camera, and you can do it all from this single arm. The only other thing that I would advise getting is a full-on protective case. This is still the main body of the camera and you want to protect this as much as possible. So whenever I want to be recording on this in an adventure situation, I'm going to be wrapping up in one of these bad boys, which is technically a waterproof housing, but for me what it is, is it's a full enclosed sealed pod to be able to put the camera in and then bash it, trash it. The only thing that's going to get hurt is this outer casing, which in itself only cost no matter what you do, whatever you buy, it's gonna need powering. So you're always gonna want additional batteries. I found these. Now these are called Telesyn. They're a company specializes in making GoPro batteries and alike. Two Hero 6 batteries. The second part of this is this little storage box here. The batteries simply slot in side by side and it will charge them in situ with one another. So you're going to be transporting something that stays the same size as the three batteries that it's transporting with very little additional bulk to add to your travel pack. So now we've gone through all that, it's time to put this with this. The GoPro simply slides in behind the harness, then no tools needed, you simply tighten these two little screws with your fingers. The moment of truth, we already have a perfectly balanced Hero 6 attached to your gimbal. Look at that! Gimbly, gimbly, gimbal goodness! Woo! You can see now, look, no matter what I do in terms of moving around the camera, it will stay fixed in position. It will automatically track wherever you twist the handle. So if I twist the handle back to the camera now, you'll see it follow and track back round. Now, if I lock the position by holding the trigger at the front here and then turn the handle, it will maintain a lock on the camera. The microphone on the GoPro Hero 6 is actually pretty decent. It handles wind noise internally. It also has its own internal stabilization, which is pretty freaking impressive. So you put that alongside a gimbal, we should be able to get some really smooth, crisp footage, even in the hands of a novice. Want to have a chat? Hit the button for selfie mode. No, I just turned it off. Take two, hit the button for selfie mode. Ta-da! Yabba, 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 chat, chat, chat. Check this out and then let go back to that target you originally had. How cool is that? A load of modes, including kind of vertical mode, lock mode, horizontal mode, meaning you can set this thing to kind of sit at certain angles and degrees rather than being completely linear all the time. So a pretty versatile and easy to use out of the box piece of kit. Now I noticed this was a little longer than it needed to be. Will it fit in with the GoPro on? <laughs> Yes, it will. So there you have it, an all-in-one GoPro on your gimbal, ready to rock and roll in your bag for the same size as, what, less than a water bottle? That's pretty freaking impressive. But let's see how good it is. So today I'm going to be hitting up some biceps, shoulders, and quads. I'll get back to the training and how I'm doing that at the moment afterwards, but let's see what kind of footage we can create from this by simply giving it to somebody who's never used it before, isn't a videographer, and isn't used to using cameras. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro Don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they blocking your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're driven make it. There's no way that you make it And maybe you can fake it But you're never gonna make it Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight back? Or will you fucking fight back? So there you have it, not too shabby considering I just handed that off to somebody who's not used to handling cameras and just got them to film me doing some random bits whilst training and I managed to put it together and create a nice little edit like that. So if there's actually some thought process that goes into it, I think we'll be able to create some really, really cool footage, not only for YouTube, but also for Instagram and obviously of course we have the new 
IGTV. So let me know in the comment section what you want to see on the IGTV because everyone's kind of trying to work out what they want. On Twitter, you guys said you wanted more of kind of like vlogs and stuff like that. Is that the case? Let me know. Now, a lot of you are asking me about the training as well, so let me cover that quickly right now. I do high frequency training. <laughs> High frequency, that's twice a week, sometimes three if you're focusing on weaker body parts, three body parts per session. I do two exercises per body part, and you do one compound, one isolation, and then the second time that you do it during the week, you do a different compound and a different isolation. Five sets, and that is standard all the time, unless it's a compound movement like deadlifts, which requires more programming and depth to build strength. The rest of the movements outside of those compounds are done to this kind of style. So this works well alongside kind of bench routines and deadlift routines and squats because you can fit them in one of the compound days. So you can try to merge, merge. The easiest way to think about it is if you take a normal standard breakdown where you do four exercises for each body group, you take those four exercises, chop them into two, separate those over two days and add in another two body parts alongside on each of those days. You can actually end up getting in more volume because you end up doing five sets instead of four and you'll find those five sets easier because you're moving on to another body part quicker. So in essence, you can get the same, if not more volume in. And in theory, that should help you also push through plateaus. Double win. Mmm. Damn it. So total investments this far is you put in a bullshit number at the beginning of the title because I'm going to get mad. Hold up, wait. You're going to want to put a little tick on that thumbs up like button because the rest of my money is going towards something for you guys. It's going towards developing something for you. Now, I said before, when I started all this, it was to be able to get information out there and to be able to help you guys learn from what I learned. So as I go along, pass on that information, get it out there, chung, 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 effectively, for nothing. The information is here for nothing for you guys. And it is a bountiful amount of information on this YouTube channel for you to go through and look for things. But a lot of you are already asking for more specialized things like coaching, meal plans, how do you do this, macros, then the, then the, then the, all these things, they're so specific to each individual. So we can give you generalized information on here and you can take it and go and run with it and try your best. But a lot of people want that accountability and want something that's a little bit more structured. Now, I do do meal plans. I've done them for years. I've done coaching, but I kind of pulled back from the coaching because I didn't have the time to do it. And this is what I want to change. So what I'm doing is I'm investing the rest of that money into a company who is going to develop an app. And this is going to be an all-inclusive, all-encompassing app that has everything in it you guys need to know from recipes, meals, targets, to dedicated tutorial videos, exercise to exercise to exercise, which then in turn can be utilized to create an entirely specific diet and training for you as an individual. There will be certain ebooks and things like that that I'm going to put in there for free that are going to be available for anyone who downloads the app. And that, yes, anything I can put it there that's generalized will be free. The specialized side of things, that is where I want to make a difference. To get a specialist meal or uh, training plan and things like that from, from coaches and all the things, even I wouldn't pay what some of these people are charging. And I wanted to create something that allows you to have something very specific, independently designed for you as an individual, but the cost next to fucking nothing. I'm hoping that there'll be so many people who will want to use this and make this that, yes, it will repay me eventually, but I'm not bothered. What I'm bothered about is the fact that I want you guys to have a source and a place to be able to go that isn't just a one-off. So this whole app, this whole system, if you sign up to it, it's not for a singular plan. It's something that will last for weeks upon weeks, and it will be adjusted every three to four weeks as you input your information that's then fed back to me, I will then be able to adjust things as you go along and nothing will ever stay static. Plateaus will always be broken. Questions always answered, training changed as necessary so you're never left static and never left like with an, a, a now useless program. I want to create, I wanted to create something that would evolve with you. Because that's the problem is you get something, you beast through it, you're loving it, then those results start to plateau off, you start to lose motivation. Again, people asking for more money for you to be able to get something new, and that's what I want to get rid of. So I'm gonna make something that is that evolves with you. That is my promise to you guys, and that's my thank you to you guys for supporting me all this time. And this is my big shout out. Boom, boom. Big shouts. Big shouts. Yo, yo.
my big shout to getting back to those OG ways that are here to help. Not here to bullshit, to help. And I promise you, I'm gonna put all my time, all my effort into making everything like that again. <laughs> oh, that's a trombone. <laughs> A huge thank you goes out to Squarespace for sponsoring and supporting this video and my ventures. Squarespace, if you don't know, is an all-in-one domain building platform where you can build your own websites. They're easily customizable and you can even now sell on there. They've made it easy and accessible for you guys to create your own online stores or just like I said, like I'm going to be doing, is building a hub, a place where I can put all my social media in one area for people to find me. If you didn't know about how Google works, when someone searches something to do with you, the more things that are about you on there that then feed into your platforms, the better you appear in search engines. So creating a little website with all your platforms inbuilt there and updated information constantly going on there, the more you're going to be visible to the world. So check them out by going to squarespace.com forward slash Lex and you can try it on there. Just go on the free trial. You get two weeks to test things out. You can build your entire website on there and have a go. See, trust me, it's super, super simple. And if you love it, you can carry it on with a discount of 10% off courtesy of me. Much love to you guys. And just use the discount code at squarespace.com. Lex. What you'll see currently on my website is on the homepage. You'll see all of my platforms on there with the latest videos and posts from Instagram and YouTube and everything like that. But what you're going to see in the coming weeks is me develop that into a more embedded platform with a live blog going on there and links to everything else that's going on. And anything that comes on there with kind of this tough mudder run and signups and everything, again, they will all be featured in that website. So there's now an easy place for you to be able to find anything or to be able to contact me even. The link to my website is in the description here. So that's it. That's all my news. I want to thank you all for joining in. I'm sorry I took a, a bit of time off, um, but I just needed it to clear my head, clear the cobwebs, and get back to doing the shit that we love again. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any videos. Thumbs up if you like the video, or just a thumbs up if you like the blue sky and trees and the fact there's probably been dogs running around behind me that I haven't noticed. <laughs> I will catch you all in the next video, which will be my high fat diet transition. How I've been feeling, how I've been looking on that. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Until then, I'm going to give you a boom baby. We're back. <laughs>